appreciate it so much you taking the time to go through this interview with us. Thanks, Hannah. It's good to be with you. Thank you. I understand that you are still getting settled in your new role. It's your first day, is that right? We are. Okay. So this is my first day as Sanford president. I woke up at about 4.11 this morning, oh, rolled over, early. saw the clock and said to myself, oh, I guess I'm the Sanford president now. As of now, yes. Promptly rolled over and went back to sleep. It was a big moment for right. me. Yeah. <laughs> but this is my first day and we're just thrilled. Finally, I say we, my wife, Julie, our daughter, Chloe, we're just thrilled to finally be here. Yes. Uh, the last time I got to speak with Jennifer was back in March when the Sanford board elected me and it's been a whirlwind since then of getting ready to leave our community there in Spokane, uh, saying our goodbyes there, leaving well finishing an academic year at Whitworth. And then my daughter, uh, Lauren, and our dog, Peanut, got to drive 2,250 miles uh, to our new home here. And so- I did, I kept up with the journey. Oh, that was yes. such a neat idea. Yeah, yeah, we had fun. It was a great opportunity for me to spend some time with her. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but yeah, we're, we, we're feeling more and more settled. Obviously today's a big day. Right. Um, we're still uh, getting accustomed to the president's home and, uh, making that our home, but we're just so fortunate to finally be here and I'm very excited about getting going. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So I know today is your first day. I'm sure that it's filled with a lot of things, but what is kind of the first thing that you hope to be able to do as the next president of Sanford University? Yeah. So, you know, as I come in back into the community, as you know, I was a part of the Sanford community before. I think one of my biggest goals is really just to relearn the, the, the university it would be a mistake for me to assume that I that I know Sanford. I know Sanford back in 2010. Right, a few and things have changed. A few things, <laughs> and, uh, and even then only a corner of Sanford because my primary responsibility was in the Brock School of Business. And so I'm eager to learn more about the university, about other corners of campus, other initiatives. Um, I want to hear people's stories. I want to understand why people feel so connected, uh, so loyal to Sanford. And that will allow me to begin to develop some of my own narratives as I talk with people all over the world about right. the wonderful things about Sanford. So I think firstly, I, I just want to listen well and, and relearn this community, get settled with my family. Obviously we have a 14 year old daughter in tow and I want to get her uh, well grounded and started in school and other things. Um, but as I start listening to those stories, as I start uh, relearning the Sanford community, I'm sure there will be some themes that will emerge and those themes will likely drive some of my early agendas as president. Okay. Um, certainly we'll begin to put some structure around uh, a forthcoming uh, strategic plan for the university that will develop with the entire community. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, and you mentioned, yes, that you are coming back into the Sanford life, the Alabama Baptist life. What is that like coming back into it after being gone for a few years? You know, we were gone for 11 years and that's a long time. Uh, I've been impressed about how quickly we've been able to acclimate here coming back. Um, it feels like coming home. I've said that to a, a few folks. Uh, we have, even though we only spent five years here, a relatively short amount of time, uh, we grew roots that were much deeper than maybe we even had imagined. Um, it's hard for Julie and me to walk around town and not see somebody who recognizes us from a previous life, either from church or Sanford or something like that. And so I have to say it feels very comfortable. Okay. And uh, we've been welcomed so warmly, uh, not only by the Sanford community, but really by so many in Birmingham uh, who know that we're returning. And so um, it feels really good to be back. And then we joined uh, Dawson Memorial Baptist Church this weekend, which was okay. our church when we were here previously. And and so getting plugged back in into a, a faith community at Dawson, uh, getting to know their new pastor, David Eldridge, um, has been really special for us. And then working with uh, our team at Sanford, I'm eager to get around the state and the region to meet with other Baptist leaders and pastors. I've already got some preaching dates on the calendar and look forward to visiting churches. And so it'll be a busy year as I kind of embrace and get to know that community again. Right. Yeah. Okay, so this introductory year, um, a lot's going to happen, but just kind of looking towards your tenure as president of Sanford, what is maybe one overarching goal that you would like to accomplish, to improve, to change, to, what would you like to do? Yeah, well, I think first and foremost, uh, my job, the job of any Sanford president is to keep the university on its mission. 
And of course, our mission at Stanford is quite distinctive in the world of higher education, and that is we want to combine rigorous academics, we want to give students the absolute best educational experience we can give them, but that educational experience is cast within, is set within the context of a, a deeply faithful community. And so as Sanford president, I feel a tremendous amount of responsibility to keep Sanford centered on Jesus Christ and the gospel, even as we, and especially as we prepare our students for a variety of different vocations and callings, uh, both in the church and, and outside of the church. So that's a very important priority for, for, for me. But I would expect any Sanford or Sanford president would give you that answer, but it's an important answer. Um, I think more generally, I'm eager to see where the university's growing edges are. Okay. Sanford has already shown itself to be adaptable. It's shown itself to make changes when changes are needed, especially when it comes to providing students with uh, that relevant current education right. to prepare uh, students like you, former students like you, <laughs> to go out into the world and do the things that they're being called to do. And we know that world is dynamic, right? We know that those expectations are changing. And so the university needs to evolve and adapt. New programs need to be developed. Uh, existing programs need to be improved. Um, I often relate uh, a college or university is kind of like an old house. Uh, there are wonderful things about it. There are great rooms to experience. Mm -hmm. There's history. Uh, there's things to celebrate and there's always something in disrepair. Yes. And so we always have to be looking for those opportunities to improve the university. Um, so I'm eager to work with our academic leaders, our staff and faculty to figure out where those growing edges are and then how we can support those leaders, again, to provide our students with the best possible education. Absolutely. Yeah. And I understand that you were previously the president of a university, is that right? I was, yes. Okay, so what drew you to Sanford to do a very similar job? It's a different school, but to be the president of another school. Yeah, so I was privileged to serve for 11 years uh, as Whitworth University's president in Spokane, Washington. Mm -hmm. Wonderful community of faith and learning, uh, many similarities to Sanford. I think what draws us back is, of course, the opportunity to lead a place like Sanford. There are few, if any, institutions that have the opportunities that Sanford University has in terms of its people, its resources, its beautiful campus, its reach in our community and beyond, uh, the talented students that we attract, the faculty and staff that are there. Uh, I know of no other institution that is as uh, well equipped to make a change in our communities of influence as Sanford University. And so to be very candid with you, it was the quality of this place and its people that drew us back. Uh, we were not uh, pining away necessarily to return, but the Lord really uh, put it on our hearts when Dr. Westmoreland announced his retirement to at least uh, give this to God and, and consider it prayerfully and through a very rigorous search process and, and, and candidly just a lot of uh, discernment and prayer we felt like indeed the Lord was calling us back for just this moment. We couldn't be more thrilled. Absolutely. If you could just go over maybe some experiences that helped you prepare for stepping into this role. Well, there's probably no better experience uh, for being a college president than being a college president. <laughs> and so my 11 years at Whitworth, I think have given me a, a tremendous amount of experience um, to draw upon. Mm -hmm. Um, there are always new things, new issues, new challenges to tackle, but um, I think having that 11 years of experience leading a campus, uh, leading a community is something you know, that's really important. Um, the world of Christian higher education, as you well know, is, uh, is, in a, is in a difficult and interesting season right now as our culture begins to question the role of religious institutions and religious organizations in our country. Um, I've spent the last 11 years keeping that institution centered on its Christian mission and yet also fully embracing its academic mission. And I want to bring those, uh, those experiences and, and, and gifts uh, to Sanford as well. Um, so I think, I think the experience that I've gleaned over 11 years will certainly serve me here. That's not to say that Sanford is the same as Whitworth. Um, there are going to be new opportunities and new challenges here, and hopefully those experiences that I bring will be helpful not only to me and leadership, but more importantly to our community. Right. And if you don't mind me asking, um, what has your prayer been during this time of transition? Lord, don't let me screw it up. <laughs> um, you know, I say that tongue in cheek, but some of that's true. 
Um, I'm following Dr. Andy Westfall, a dear friend of mine, by the way, um, somebody who has provided selfless and amazing leadership to Sanford for 15 years. And Sanford's in good shape. And, and largely that's due to Dr. Westmoreland's leadership. So it's a humble feeling when one <laughs> steps into this role, especially on the first day. Um, I want to continue the trajectory of success of this institution. And I know that's just not up to me. I know that that's uh, about all of us, alumni, uh, faculty, staff, students. Um, but my prayer is that God would continue to bless Sanford University in the ways that God has clearly blessed it in the past. And that working through people like me and uh, hundreds of others at the university, that Whitworth, uh, excuse me, that Sanford could live into um, the best version of itself it can possibly be. So, yeah. I so appreciate it. Do you need to say anything that you feel like we haven't touched on? I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, oh. thanks, Hannah, good job. Thank you, yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you again for your time. It's been wonderful to be with you. Thank you.